form is it fake ID for? I uh, just tagged like a drug label so he did South Carolina. Okay. And how did all that come about going on that trip? Uh, Joe just asked me to take him down there to get a fake ID. Okay. Did he tell you why or anything? No. What did, uh, what did Alan say? They didn't tell me anything. It was, me and Alan went on several road trips together uh, to transport animals to other places. Mm -hmm. um, We no, that's we normally just talk, and I guess that's how he came up and said that to me. He didn't go into any details about it, but I thought it was a little strange. That you he wanted a fake ID? Yeah. But you know, Joe wanted him to have his fake ID. No. Well, Joe sent you down there to get it. That he just asked me to take Alan down to Texas. Okay. So Joe, did Joe know that Alan was going there for his fake ID? Yeah. So what I was saying is Joe knew that he was sending Alan down there to get a fake ID. Uh -huh. Do you have any calls with somebody in Florida regarding getting a vehicle tagged on your way back? You talk about Sherry DeWalt? Yes, I did. Yeah. So you knew he was going to go to Florida with the fake ID, and you were trying to help him get a vehicle tagged, or figure out how to get a vehicle tagged without it being in somebody's name. He was trying to figure out how to get a vehicle down there, yeah. And he was trying to figure out whether the tag was supposed to stay with a vehicle or not. Mm -hmm. I actually have that conversation right here. So you know, he, I mean, when he went down there to go get the fake ID, you knew he was getting the fake ID to go to Florida? No, I did not know that. He asked me if I knew somebody down in Florida where, if he could get a vehicle down there. So you knew he was planning to go to Florida, but you didn't know that the fake ID was in connection with Florida? Is that what you're saying? I didn't know they were connected, no. Okay. But I, there was a lot of times that I didn't know what was going on. They'd ask me to do stuff for them without me knowing exactly why. Mm -hmm. There's, it's no secret that you were Joe's right-hand man. A lot of times, yeah. Yeah. For a number of years. He trusted 16. you and told you stuff and gave you inside track on a lot of things. Yeah. We, we know that. Yeah. I also have information to know that he had talked to you and, well, you both had several discussions about how y'all were going to take care of Baskin. And you were going to go do it. Matter of fact, you used to talk about the best way to do it was to talk about using a boat instead of some of the things that Joe had. Whoa, 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 no. That's not true? No. Okay. You clarify if I'm close or off back. Okay. There was a point where I walked in the office, and this is that new office right, right there, where I walked in and... Joe and Jeff Lowe were talking about it. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, Jeff pops it up on the screen exactly where Carol Baskin lives. Mm -hmm. And they were looking, I think, I don't know if it, what corner it is, but there's a corner where there's a stream that goes behind or at one of the corners of her house and there's a tree sitting right there. But knowing her, she probably had cameras or whatever sitting around her house. And you couldn't even get close to her house. But no, I'd never go do that. Well, I'm not saying that you would. 
I'm, I'm not insinuating at all. I just simply made the comment that you had a discussion suggesting that you should use boats instead of try to find her on this bike trail. Uh, now, the boat thing, I might have had a piece in that, but there was somebody else that had a piece in that too. And right now, he is sitting on the MRCVPD. And that would be Mark, uh, Mark Thompson. Mm -hmm. Mark Thompson used to work for you. Right. And he's a former uh, sniper, medic, uh, there's quite, he has quite a list of stuff in the military. Right. So was he in this discussion with Joe and Jeff and you? No, he was not in the office then, no. Okay. So that, what do you mean he had a piece of this about the boat? There, there was talk with, between him and Joe on it, too. Okay. All we want from you today is just put your cards on the table and tell us, you know, what happened. Now, I have stuff on my phone. Uh -huh. away from this case to, that y'all would start building on another case. What do you mean? And I know Joe has the same information too. Have you talked to Joe since he's been in... No, I have not. Yeah. He's tried to call me and tried to call me. I don't know, he probably called me about maybe anywhere from five to ten times mm -hmm. since he's been in jail but I have not officially talked to him at all. Has he left any messages or anything? No. As far as I know, he's not had a cell phone. Oh, okay. uh, the reason I ask is that on um, September 10th, 2018, at 10 o'clock at night, it shows a completed call from Joe to you. That wasn't actually a completed call. Okay. I was trying to do all the credit card information and everything, and then it, when I finally got done with it all, it said something about your card will not allow long distance calls. Right. Johnny was in the room with me, and so was my mom. Mm -hmm. So what do you know about Joe making threats toward Carol Baskin or wanting to hire someone to do her harm? Now he's talked about hiring somebody, but I didn't know he ever tried to do it. Okay, what did he say? Uh, he joked around several times about hiring somebody. But then he's also joked around about if he ever found out that he had cancer, he'd go down there and do it himself. But I thought it was all just joking around. I never thought he'd go through with it. Who did he talk about hiring? Uh, I, as far as I know, he never said anybody in particular. Did he ever offer you money to do it? No. Not even joking? Maybe joking, yeah. But never. What would he say? Uh, there was one time when we were out at the lake that I guess he used to own, um, that he saw me out there shooting and he's like, maybe I should send you down there. But there was never anything about money in it. I have some information that suggests that you were the one to supposed to go down there and do it. And then once Kimber was born, you decided not to, and that's why he decided to pick Alan. That was never going to go down there. There's no conversation with Joe regarding... No. Uh -uh. That was never going to go down there at all. 
did you ever say that you would even when you didn't think that you would follow through? Maybe joking, but no, I'd never go down there and do that. But you might have jokingly led him to believe that you were his guy? Yeah. But then he also joked around about Travis going down there to do it. But he didn't let Travis off the park. <laughs> he did. He, Travis would go down to like the store or something, but no, those two never really left each other's side. Travis would go down to the lake and shoot do whatever he wanted down there. Uh, most time he'd be at home. Mm -hmm.